I'm Tuck. And I'm Lenny Ben. Join us as we turn our Catalina 30 into our new dream home. And set sail on the adventure of a lifetime. She's working on the new curtains. That way we have a little bit more privacy of a night time. And... Well, look what the cat drug in. What are you doing finally? A year later? Putting the curtains up. Oh, we're working on curtains. They're pretty, look. They are pretty curtains. So is that the outside or the inside? It's reversible. I understand that. What's where you're going to put them? I don't know yet. I'm going to put them up and see which one I like better. Right. Okay. Cool. We'll show you the... Uh, the Probably fence. the dark because of the white walls. Yeah. I think the dark. We'll show you the end result. It's been about a year coming, but she got the curtains up. Need a little bit of sunblock, a little bit of privacy. Well, a lot of bit of privacy in the marina. It looks good. I like it. I think you've done a great job. I like them. Making it feel more like home, yeah? Slowly. Yeah, I really like it. I'm proud of you. He caught something. Fishing from the dinghy. Show the camera. <laughs> they don't get much bigger than this. You can catch them a lot. I don't recommend eating, eating them because they're in the marina, but they're fun to catch. <laughs> Let him go back. All right. All right. We gotta check out something. I haven't used the anchor on this boat yet. Well, I've got to check out and see how much chain we have. I'm pretty sure we're not gonna have the two to three hundred feet that I want when we leave. Oh man, that doesn't look good. Well, we'll pull it out and see how much we got. See how good a shape it's in. Well, we only have 30 feet. That's not going to work. So now it's on the mission to find some more anchor chain, I guess, because we can't just deal with 30 feet. I got all the nuisance pieces down. Babe, what'd you just do for me? Oh, grind out the screw hands. Yep. Now we're going to go in here and Sand it and prep it to paint. What you got going over here? A damn mess. Dude, it looks like it. Well, I'm installing your salt water pump. I got all the fresh water done. Get back on all new packs. I'm gonna work on this salt water pump and there we go. All right, well, I'm gonna earn my trip to the marker store tomorrow. <laughs> all right, so. We got this all sanded and wiped down, and now I guess I'm gonna prime it. Babe, you said you got the new pump working? Yep, the salt water pump works. Wow, we're just multitasking today. I just gotta finish up. I'm gonna put a switch down here. That way I can turn it off when I want it or whatever. Awesome. Yep, it's already, it's already hooked to the panel on the fuse, but I want another disconnect switch down here that when I'm working, I just flip it off down here. Cool. But, yep. It mm -hmm. works, it pumps. Awesome. Look at you. Finally earning your keep around here. Yes, Maureen. Yeah, she's using the primer, using the uh, kilt primer in here. You can see it, all the nastiness bled through, and it'll probably take a coat or so of primer before the paint even goes. But remember, before when we painted the rest of the boat you have to sand and prime you can't just um start going with some latex paint if you don't do it right it's going to peel off the reason that i say that is i don't want you to look at what we've done and then end up just throwing some latex paint on this stuff and then you know a while later be like hey all my paint's peeling off because it will but 
this has held up for almost a year if you remember i mean it's it's still tough but we put it on right and that's a big thing got a little bit of finishing to do making it look a lot, a lot better a lot cleaner maybe get rid of the damn smell too yeah it, you know i had on the boat this smells and so we're the, the boat's in 1981 can you imagine how much piss has been in that bathroom so clean it paint it and just start over Thank you for watching. Join us next time to see what we get into.